All right, everybody. So I got my holes drilled after I stopped yapping, um, and uh, so I'm getting ready to cut. We're gonna cut on a bandsaw. Um, again, this nice Ryobi be one probably cost me 150, 160 bucks. But um, I want to kind of go over the uh, safety things, right? So everybody wants to talk about safety. I've, I've got earplugs hanging up here. It's a nice Surefire ear pros I used to use for shooting. I've got so many pairs of them now, I decided to throw one in here. I also have this mask. Uh, mask cost me about $16 on uh, Amazon. And I got that uh, based off of a, uh, a work class I went through. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm a police officer by trade. So, I don't know why I said by trade like it's a trade, but um, it's pretty much that and holsters is all I know how to do anymore, so uh, I can't even do math. So, uh, I got the mask based on a class I went through, and I started thinking about it. I was like, hey, you know, I should probably take better care of myself. Uh, my wife yells at me all the time to take care of better care of myself, so I figured I might as well start. And uh, in case anybody didn't know, Kydex fumes are toxic, so if you ever see the professionals you know, and they're making their holsters and they got all these things floating around. Like this little Kydex dust here. See if we can get a close up of this. This is, normally I keep my stuff pretty clean, but uh, I've been severely lazy lately. So, uh, this dust gets in your lungs. Dude, it is not a good day. Um, I wear glasses now. Um, you see I have my safety goggles up here. But, um, so I don't, I don't put on the goggles anymore because now I have glasses. But, uh, getting old sucks. But, I, I've gotten hot kydex in my eye. Yeah, it is not fun. Put on some goggles. Like, you don't have to get the big old goofy scientist looking ones, right? Because nobody wants to look dumb. I'm in a shed by myself. I don't really care who I look good for. Um, now they're doing YouTube stuff, I guess I ought to look good. Um, but uh, I will tell you, I'm, I'm going to put on the mask when we cut this stuff because this stuff flies everywhere. Um, we're we're going to get to the Dremel stuff. I'll probably make a separate video for that because, again, I don't want to make these too long because I don't like long videos. Uh, my friends send me videos all oh did you watch that video? I'm like, no, it was 30 minutes long. I don't ha I don't have the patience to sit there and watch 30 minutes. I can be making a holster in 30 minutes. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna get uh, geared up and I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna try and see if I can find a, a suitable place to put this thing. I don't think I'm gonna find one. Um see if I'm sure. Yeah, that, that'll that'll show you a little bit. Um I didn't want to say, like, my friend introduced me. I'm a big Pandora person. I always listen to music while I'm working. Uh, so it's, I, I decided I'm going to go ahead and play music while I'm working. Um, but, again, I'm Pandora all the way. And uh, this band, The Lax, is uh, L-A-C-S. It is a wonderful brand of music. It is like rock music, country lyrics, and hip-hop melodies. So it kind of incorporates everything and I love it. It's great. Um, so if you hear in the background, it's Wood Wiz. If it's a little offensive at times, I apologize. Um, but I mean, we're adults. Uh, so you'll probably hear that in the background. Uh, not once I saw the bandsaw, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and get geared up. And uh, we'll, we'll get to cut. Now the other thing I want to point out, if you can actually hear me through this thing, if not, you know, when I watch it later, I'll let you know. Um, the earplugs, my hearing has gotten just so awful over the last few years. Maybe because of this, maybe because of shooting, I don't really know. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish talking before I start messing with things. Uh, earplugs are important. Guys, put them in. You don't want to go deaf before you're 50 and you end up like my father who's got hearing aids. Sorry, Dad. So I actually probably can't see it from there now. Let's see if I can turn this thing around. Alright, uh, I went ahead and drew a second line to follow for the rental. So we're going to go ahead and get this hook. I'm um, coming ahead in five minutes. Uh, so we just have to look. This is a nice little warning if you get too close to the sound.
There was a nail in my glove. There was a snake in my boot. Oh. Okay, use my pants on and check it out. In case y'all couldn't guess, I've actually just started using the mask, so I'm still getting used to it. But um, I wanted to kind of point something out. You see on this, I kind of cut around the line because I wasn't really sure about the line. Um, which is, in the next video, we're going to go into dremeling um, and getting it nice and cut. You see this one, I, I, I followed the line pretty well. You know, you can't really see it anymore. But um, there's a lot of times that I, uh, I'll leave extra. Because I can always take some off, but I can't always add some. Actually, you can never add some. Once it's gone, it's gone. There's, there's no getting around it. So, um, obviously be careful when you're using a saw. Um, it is probably actually easier than when I used to use a razor blade and a pair of pliers. But, um, so yeah, be careful. And if you're ever unsure of your line, like when I uh, started cutting, I realized that was really close to my bolt. Which means my eyelet that I will eventually drive into this thing was going to be way too close to the edge so the belt loops then would stick above the holster and we're going to try and avoid that because it doesn't look right so and i'm going to go ahead and turn you off uh that was cutting and uh we'll come back when i'm dremeling have a good day